everybody, this is Holden Hassel with Equita Final Expense Services and FinalExpenseMastery.com. Today I want to talk about the banking information, when to get it, how to get it, and the important questions that you need to be asking. So as you know with the final expense worksheet, you gotta fill that out. It's got all the pertinent information you'll need to expedite the application process. And let's walk through the steps of how I generally do it when I'm in the home. So this is important. So this is the most crucial aspect of the sales process, right? If you don't get the, the banking information, there's no way to get an app done, right? You're you're not gonna have a, a client pay quarterly. The persistency on that is, is horrible. That's why companies only take EFT and we always say EFT or walk. So basically what that means is, of course is you know, the direct express, that's fine. But when we're talking about the, the banking information, how do you get this? Now you're gonna start off with less invasive questions. That's why you can start off with, you know, okay, what's your middle initial? All right, perfect. Let me put that in here, A. Um, and let's see here, okay. And what is your date of birth? All right, 12-22-65, perfect. And let's go ahead and see here. Now, do you want all the mail to come to this address? You do, okay, great. Fill that on out, all the mail comes to this address, perfect. All right, the next thing we're gonna look for over here is your phone number. Great, so phone number, do you want it to stay the same as the card? All right, 704-556-7234, is that right? Perfect, great. All right, and now let's see over here. Okay, now who, who did you want this money to go to? I know you were saying your, your your daughter is probably the most important one. How do you spell her name? Okay, let's go ahead and write that down. Now you've gathered information that's incredibly important for doing the app, and you're doing the assumption close, right? You're assuming that they're buying throughout the whole entire sales process. You're not stopping at all during the application process, and you're just gonna keep pushing through and getting the information that you need. Don't stop it unless they stop you. All right, and now when I'm doing this one, it's very important. I look down at my at my iPad, and this is when I'm writing it in. All right, and uh, social, perfect, great. Now, there's a couple different ways to do this. So one way to do it is you get their mind thinking about numbers. So what do I mean by that? Read them back their address, right? Okay, that's one, two, three Main Street, Dallas, Texas, seven, five, two, one, six. All right, there's numbers in there. Okay, and you said your date of birth was 12-22-65. Is that right? Okay, perfect. And your phone number, we got 704-556-7234. Is that right? Okay, perfect. And uh, now, notice I'm looking down. Social? 456-56-56-56. Perfect, great. All right, on to the next one over here. And then you're just going through the application process, right? You've already done the underwriting. That's something you do before. You've already overcome the objection about the banking information. You know what day that they're getting paid, but you're confirming the information that you already asked them before to make sure that the app is getting done properly. So you're not making any mistakes and you're going through this process and you're getting it done pretty smoothly. So now you get to the end of it. You ask about the beneficiary and whatnot. You're kind of filling that in. And, and what, what's her date of birth? Okay, perfect. And um, all right, and, and what's the best phone number to reach her? All right, great, okay. And now by this point, you've already got the driver's license, you've already filled out all the information too. So they put, I mean, they really trust you here, right? You're going through the process, and now now one thing that you can do is you can ask, now can you just go ahead and just grab something with the, the bank's name on it, and your name on it, and you're looking down, and they should get up to go get it, right? If they don't get up to go get it, you're gonna run into some issues. Now, what does that mean? Maybe they're just thinking something with the bank's name on it and my name on it, right? Because you've already discussed drafting. Now, do you want this? Because I know you get paid on the 3rd. So it's not going to draft until next month on the 3rd. So that's the good news unless you want to start this month. Do you want to start this month? No? Okay, perfect. So we'll get that set up for you. Now, all right, over here. And, and, and who did you say you use? Chase? Okay, great. Chase Bank is a great bank. All right. And um, what I'll need to do is I pull up the routing number over here. Can you just go ahead and just grab something with your name on it, the bank's name on it, right? The get up to go get it. Um, my name on it, the bank's name on it. What does that mean? Yeah. So, with, you know, did they ever send you a check, like a checkbook, or do you have checks? Oh, okay. Oh, they didn't. Okay, that's fine. Uh, do you know when you open the account, how they give you that little folder, you know, and it's got like the information in there? Could you go grab that? Okay, you don't have that. That's not a problem at all. Now. You know when you opened it, they gave you a little card, and you should you know, carry it around in your wallet, and it says like account uh, and, and the routing number. So if you could just find that routing number, we'll confirm it and everything, that'll be perfect. Don't have that, not a problem. Um, now, do, let me ask you a quick question. Do they send you a statement each month? 
They do. Okay, great. Just go grab that real quick. Take your time and I'll go through this, right? Now, I'm not asking, I'm telling, right? Go grab that real quick. Take your time and I'll get it done for you, right? Now, I'm not asking, I'm telling. I'm giving them a command. Go ahead and go do this. Take your time. Don't rush. I'm just going to keep filling this out. Perfect. So that's the way that I get the banking information. A couple different ways to ask, but this is probably one of the most important videos you're going to watch.